Well, those observers, more than 5,000 of them, are pretty happy with how things are going right now. The turnout has completely exceeded expectations. Here uh, in Tunis, for example, people have been queuing all morning, all day, and they still haven't managed to get into the polling booths to vote. This is a totally new experience for Tunisians who, under years of dictatorship, really went to the polls only to vote for one party, one choice. That was the RCD. Now they're confronted when they get inside with more than a hundred different parties. Now, one of the biggest parties in this country right now is ANADA, the Islamic Party. And I'm joined now by the daughter of the leader of ANADA, Rashi Ghanoushi. His daughter, Yusra Ghanoushi, is here with us right now. Yusra, just tell us how you think things are going for your father's party. Uh, I think things are going wonderfully. It's, it's, it's amazing to see you know, so many Tunisians uh, out there to make their voices heard, make, make their choices, whatever their choice uh, may be. They've never had the opportunity to do this in the past. Uh, there was only one party. There was just fear. Uh, they were, there was one choice imposed on people. Now that's over and we hope this is the beginning of a new era where Tunisians will uh, make their voices heard and uh, work together because there's a lot of common ground to you know, face the immense challenges facing our country. Well, I have to say that there is a, quite a lot of fear uh, around about the party of your father, Anada, about what it might bring to Tunisia if it will change things here, particularly for women. What do you say to that? We've made our programme and our policies very clear. Uh, we've, you know, we've been uh, explicit about the uh, pace of Tunisia that we want uh, for the future. Our vision of Tunisia is one uh, where women and men enjoy equal rights, enjoy freedom of expression, freedom so you won't, of faith. You won't, you won't force women, for example, to wear the headscarf or men won't be allowed to have more than one wife because that's what some people here are saying. Yes, sadly, some people are repeating things uh, with no basis and this is a continuation of the fear mongering campaigns of the past and we hope in Tunisia people will go beyond uh, these campaigns, these rumours and will listen to our statements and see our actions. We've said clearly that we will maintain women's rights and expand them further uh, and, and that we are against imposing any type of dress on women. We were against depriving women from choosing to wear the headscarf and we're very clear on women's right to choose their own uh, dress, whatever that may be. Do you think that uh, Anada will now get a big role in government? Because your father has spoken about Anada getting a potential share of 30% of the constituent assembly. What does that mean practically for the party? This is what many polls are saying, but hopefully in, in a few hours uh, we'll know what percentage our party and other parties uh, have achieved. Uh, but it, it's, it's clear that Anada is a, is, a, is a major party in this country and it's not a new party. It's been here for decades, uh, part of the struggle for democracy and freedom and we're here to continue that struggle uh, in partnership with, with other parties who, who share a lot of principles because the, you know, the principles of achieving a real democratic transition in Tunisia and achieving a balanced economic development is it, shared with, with many other parties and we're in talks with uh, many of them and we hope uh, we can work together for uh, a, a, a brighter future for all Tunisians. Yusra Ghanoushi, thank you very much for that. Well, I think one of the issues, not only identity here in Tunisia, but also the economy, there's high unemployment, corruption and justice are other issues that people who are waiting to vote are thinking about before they go inside that polling station.